That's weird. All right. Um, so, so there are some interesting news. Uh, actually, Garza shared with us very early uh, in the show, in the shoe. Um, there was a, a survey out to the, what do they call this? The fan, WWE fan committee or something like that. Um, there were questions um, along the lines of, a, 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 and we've seen another survey in recent weeks. I mean, it's kind of question the direction of what they're doing with WWE. Um, it asked whether WWE or WWE NXT did a better job or uh, an equal job of the following. Now, here's the list. This is kind of a long list, so bear with so, me, please. So we're going to take this survey. You, what? I got to take this survey. Yes. I mean, that was it, a lot tighter it's, it's, uh, It was interesting. I, I, do you have the uh, word list of what you... They had to describe WWE programming as right, right, right. It was, what, what, so this is the 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 um, yeah. uh, did a better job or equal job at the following, and this is including and this is a long list. Bear with me. Seeing good rivalries and matchups, uh, feeling part of a large group of passionate fans, uh, getting an appropriate amount of surprises, being amazed, being amused, <laughs> being entertained, being amazed. having a great show to watch with family, having a great show to watch with friends. We know the answer to the friends part. Um, seeing a wide variety of divas. That's a that's a goal. Um, seeing a seeing enough of my favorite divas, watching athletic moves and maneuvers, um, maneuvers. seeing seeing the quality of in ring <laughs> wrestling <laughs> I want, maneuver. hearing compelling dialogue slash promos, getting the right mix of unique characters, seeing a wide variety of superstars, watching interesting stories play out, seeing enough of my favorite superstars. Uh, so that that's and is this like, or, or is this a rating? System that you're yeah. is, it, is it one yeah, of those they, like best to worst in, in like like dot format kind of things? Uh, well, first first they ask you to rate uh, WWE based on those things, yeah. then they ask you to rate NXT based on those things, yeah. and then they ask you to compare who did better at what thing WWE NXT or they don't both do an equal job. Okay. Okay. Um, spoiler alert for my answers on the survey. It was mostly NXT. <laughs> you, just, uh, you, just, you just went <laughs> NXT, NXT, and it tick, 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 NXT. Kind of. I mean, some things, I did give it serious thought. Some things I put that they equally performed. Well, what do you, um, I, I don't like physicality. List. Okay, physicality. physicality. Both, okay. both brands are very equal on. Um, what, did, what did you think WWE did over NXT better? Uh, I, I, like, because that's one of the questions too. Like, why do you prefer NXT over WWE? And I say it's because of the storylines. It's because of the characters. It's because uh, character motivations mean a mean a big deal. Like, mm-hmm. that's really kind of the point of NXT is that you have to follow the storylines. WWE, you can jump in any week and it's the same old stuff over and over again. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that, and also I see. Um... Uh, which of the following terms describe NXT? Uh, wait, wait. A survey question asked fans to pick which of the following terms describe NXT and then the main roster. And this is again, you know, so energy and authentic, hardcore, fantastical, fantastical, really? Um, mm-hmm. Hokey, unique, excitement. Um, yeah. It, but also, is it fair to compare the, um, what are we up to? Uh, seven hours of main programming weekly of WWE to to NXT. Well, I mean, they're making us compare it, so I think it That's is. That's true. Apparently they do. Okay, yeah. And also... Yeah, it, I mean, if they're asking us to compare it, I think it's more than fair that we do. Mm-hmm. And it is interesting, because now that there's no brand split, there's also... And I, I think part of it, you know, have, do I see enough of my diva or superstar? Man, I haven't seen so and so for a few weeks. I haven't seen Alicia Fox in forever. Yeah, because she's been doing superstars matches for the last three months. You know, you don't know. There's, there's no way to follow your superstar or but, no. I'm a Kevin Owens fan, and not that he would be the, but, but uh, oh, I didn't see Kevin Owens or wow. Oh, he's got a match on SmackDown. You don't know. There's no, there's no interweaving of, of that kind of stuff. You know, they they will show, hey, this match is happening on SmackDown. But, you know, if they they have three hours, you can let us know what's happening Thursday. okay? and I know the story can change or whatever, but I feel like there could be more teasers to make me tune in on SmackDown. But Sorg, I think it's also the fact that there's oversaturation of certain people. 
Yes, you're, you're talking there's, about between the two way shows. Way oversaturation of a lot of guys. Like what? they have a huge roster, even with all the injuries they have. Right. Where's Damian Sandow? Right. Right. Like where there are guys that should be on other shows. Like why not put Rusev on main event every now and then? He doesn't need to be on every Raw. No, and I think. Or, well, it's a, it, I think somebody like him, he's in a certain level where he is. But then Stardust is still at a point where they'll pop down and do do a match with the Ascension on Superstars. You know, no, but I, I think that should be with everyone. Like, but, Roman Reigns should be on main event once. Is, is there any rhyme or otherwise? Let's, let's, if if you tell me that Stardust is wrestling Neville on main event, guess what? That's not a main event. That's a mid card match on well, Raw it's, at it's, best. Hey, you know what? Uh, I watched the show named. Uh, named superstars and 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 i saw matches with spark plug holly you know what i mean yeah um, but sorg superstars yeah, spark just plug. superstars is just the name for guys yeah that's true that's true so uh, i mean main event okay okay saturday night's main event when was, when was the last time the wwe champion was on main event right uh when it, when it premiered on ion television yeah. um <laughs> exactly my point yep yep um, and, and, and you're going to see the same thing. Well, well, uh, I know we were kind of joking around on, on, uh, the Facebook group and some other places. Well, you know, Hey, SmackDown is going to feel like an A show for about three weeks. Well, well, well we're trying to make you all tune in on, and I think as a mentality also, that's kind of flawed too. Um, because you know, it is a main event settled into superstars SmackDown's, you know, whenever they make a move from a Thursday to a Friday and back again, or to a different network, yeah, it a shows for a little bit, and then, eh, you know. Um, or if SmackDown is live. Yeah, or the random live one, of course. Um, that's it. That's it. You know, the, I, I, I guess the other point is, other than, you know, uh, they get the advertisers, whatever, do we need SmackDown at this point? Yes. It's yes? yes. Why yes? I was just saying, yes, that's fine. What? <laughs> <laughs> Are you just saying it? Just I'm just saying it because I'm, I'm, cause if, if there's no snack on it, there's nothing for me to write about every week. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not going to write about Raw. No. <laughs> no. Okay, that's a reason. Everybody he, else does that. He's not. Sorry. Okay, that's he's allowed to have that. Um, <laughs> SmackDown needs a purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it, it's just, it's just oh, yeah, like a wrestler. That. It's like yeah. a wrestler. If they don't have a purpose, if they don't have a focus, we don't need them on TV. Why are if we... SmackDown doesn't have a, po- a focus and a purpose, we kind of don't need to watch it. And we yeah. stop watching it. Remember, and... remember the brand split? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, was a, that was a great time. It was that good. Was a great that time. Hell, for a yep. time. A and for a time, we considered SmackDown the A-Show. Mm-hmm. Now? That's because it was. Yeah, well, it was. It, it, it was the, legitimately the, the better show. Very much. It was. And that's Thank why you. they ended it. All praise be. The brand split in it. All praise be to Paul Heyman. Um, and Kurt Angle, and Brock Lesnar. Well, uh, Matt Collins is asking in the chat room: Is it possible it's what killing WWE isn't three, isn't the three hour Raw, but the end of the brand split? Um, I, I don't agree with that because if you have a brand split, if we think a three hour Raw is uh, a lot of repeat, a lot of repetition now, imagine if they had half the roster. That would be that would be a lot of the same guys over and over again for three hours, uh, unless they just l- like literally change the way they do things and they put jobber matches on Raw. Yeah, which is okay. It, it absolutely is. Like they do it on NXT all the time. Uh, I mean, Raw used to be just jobber matches when it started. I yes. mean, it's I you know I wouldn't be I I think when you put it in that context. You would use the three hours differently, but you I don't would know. think. But WWE might disagree with you. Yeah, right, 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 right. Um, there needs to be a cleanse. There needs WWE needs to fail. Whoa. What? No, I mean no. I, I mean they're, they're not, not, <laughs> not, not. Okay. Wait. There needs to be a final solution. No, that's not right either. Whoa, Jesus <laughs> Christ! To WWE. <laughs> No, no, they need to. I, they, they, there needs to be a from, new day. Yes, there is. They need to from fail. The on, they really do need to fail. They need to, and I really hope, and I feel bad because right now they're failing in the ratings department when all the new guys have popped up, which justifies 
bringing back your Brock Lesnar, John Cena, Randy Orton, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, it's like it, it, it feels kind of like the times where um, Hulk Hogan would not show up on WCW uh, strategically. So he could he could blame the fact that the ratings uh, were because he wasn't there, not because they were going up against the NBA finals. You know, um, that's what it feels like right now um, to no fault of the guys there. Right. Um, you know, can, they need. I mean, can, can, well, can anybody deny that that like these guys on the top uh, across Raw right now aren't working their freaking asses off with what they're given? Right. Well, You're, I mean, Owens, Ambrose, Reigns, the guys. What's that? It's never been anything against the guys. No, no, no. Not for us. Definitely not, not the for performers, us. No, the performers have been kicking ass. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not resonating enough for more than three million viewers, which is a problem for them. So, yeah, I. I think, I think as far as the WWE TV situation goes, I think they need, you know, for the longest time they've considered Raw to be the flagship show. So I think they need to take that take that word flagship very seriously, and they can handle that one of two ways. One, they can use Monday Night Raw to actually set the tone for the rest of the week, whether it's main event. Uh, well, maybe not NXT because it's you know kind of a separate brand at this point, anyways. Right. But like main event, superstars, and then SmackDown. Or they can take the term flagship literally and have Monday Night Raw on a cruise ship every week. <laughs> <laughs> and I think on that point we have solved all of our problems, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I, I want to see Ryback back on a twisty slide now. <laughs> No, but uh, we just need to reboot. No, they do. They do. They definitely do. We're, we need a reboot. We're, everyone's reboot happy. They've rebooted Spider-Man three times. They reboot comic universes all the time. Tell me that we just need a, a hard reboot. That's right. That's right. Just Let's a hard happens. reboot. We'll get the new 52 every oh. week. So. <laughs> oh, man. Of all the comparisons you could have oh, chose. Oh. It, all right. Oh. Just the worst one. Then we're going to have a gross, like, live sex scene between, like, John Cena and, and Nikki Bella in the middle of the ring with their with their wrestling gear wrapped around them in awkward ways. See, that's Sork, burned into my you brain. Say that, you say that, we would all fucking watch that shit. Man. There's already a fan fiction. Right yeah, well, that. yeah. I've... I imagine. I try not to. <laughs> We did all watch that. It was called Trainwreck. Yeah, that's right. We did. Amy we we kind of did. did. <laughs> Amy Schumer has got just got hired by the WWE. She will be the next Divas Champion. Um, <laughs> that's all right. And, I'd watch and that. And I, would, I would watch the fuck out of that. <laughs> that's and right. She will, and she will feud with Dolph Ziggler, her ex at WrestleMania. 